I will always. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. Oh. My condolences. Oh, my dear Harold, I can't believe he's gone. I knew his frequenting that gambling boat would be the death of him. The death of him. Oh, Harold Thornton, I miss you. I see. I heard that doctor. Trollop Clara laughing at the funeral. I can't understand how strangers can be so cruel. The world is a sad and terrible place. God preserve his soul. I'm sorry for your loss, ma'am. Take care. Incredible. Simply incredible. Hello, Professor. Uh, hello, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, sir. Good day. Good day. How are you? Well, my family's health and well-being are being threatened by some unscrupulous government agents, and my own hard-won freedom is under duress. But these problems aside, I suppose I'm fair. Ah, <laughs> yes, the problems of civilizing nomads. Uh, tell me, sir, are you from Norse stock? Not as far as I know. I was raised in an orphanage. My father was Scottish. Hmm, unfortunate. Uh, uh, you'd make an interesting case for my theory of natural population characteristics. Really? Well, yes. A, a white man, obviously, but, but, but with a savage spirit. Uh, uh, trust me, sir, I mean savage in the best possible sense. Uh, natural nobility, but also simple, uh, pure. Uh, I've been looking at some blood samples through my microscope, and, and you know what? No. Oh, well, of course you don't. It's a remarkable breakthrough. I've been looking at the blood of both natives and white men of corresponding height, weight, and age, and you know what? Again, no. They're exactly the same. It's remarkable. It completely refutes my last book. But I'll tell you what, sir. This sabbatical in the field may have been somewhat forced upon me by circumstance, but my scholarship has benefited enormously. Would you uh, like to partake of a syringe of cocaine? I've quite enough for two. Not right this minute, no. Oh, so it's a remarkable drug. It entirely restores the ego. It, it takes one back to a primal state. It helps my thinking enormously. <laughs> oh, oh, Nastas, uh, uh, come on. Uh, come in, sir. Would you like to take off your slippers? Or, or, or skin a rabbit? <clears throat> I know. We cannot see the stars, but still my heart is pure, and we meet as equals. These savages must be spoken to simply in metaphors. <laughs> no, sir. I grew up on a reservation and attended school. Oh, lovely. <laughs> but I can show you what you want to see. I know where the group of bandits you seek are hiding, both of you. Vanderlyn has attracted a following of young men on the reservation. They are turning to bad things. The savage heart cannot be conventionally civilized. I was right all along. <laughs> Where's Dutch Vanderlyn based? In the hills, in Cochinet. Let's go. I know a way there that is not guarded. Uh, marvelous. <laughs> it's simply marvelous. Mister? Time to do our bit for humanity, Mr. Marston. Come, let's hurry. Stay close. So, I understand we have a mutual interest in Mr. Vanderlind? You gonna kill him too? Kill him? Good God, no! What is it with you people out here? 
no! Vandalin fascinates me! A white man living among natives! A civilized mind turned savage! It's a little soon to be taking a breather! It's reverse integration or regressive acculturation. Uh, I don't know. I, I haven't found a name I like yet. He was never that civilized. Ah, but of course. <laughs> Edgar Ross mentioned your unique history with the man. Although I was away with the fairies at the time, I must admit. <laughs> Hello, sir. A scientist, a criminal, and a savage. <laughs> what a strange trinity we make. Follow me! So, tell me, Nastas, can you offer any further insight into van der Linn's modus operandi? Oh, oh dear, what am I thinking of? Forgive me! Have you seen what the white man is doing in the mountains? I understood you the first time. I didn't. He has been rounding up young men, promising them freedom and a return to their lands. Many are angry and desperate enough to believe him. Sounds familiar. Ah, yes, Mr. Marston. It's all coming back to me now. Weren't there some similar ideals tangled up in your story? Dutch was always fighting to change something. But nothing ever changed. People just died. Maybe that's what sent him crazy. <laughs> My word! This just keeps getting better! You see, this is what I came to the West for. Tales of noble, misguided outlaws trying to twist wrong into right. I'd pay a dollar for your dime novel, Mr. Marston. Let me tell you. Vanderlyn says he's helping my people, but they don't see what he's turning them into. There's no truth in it. Just hate and violence. Oh, Nastas! My dear, sweet Nastas! Surely you can't be hypothesizing it is Vanderlint who has turned them savage rather than the other way around. That sounds about right to me. What an intriguing notion. <laughs> Utterly absurd, of course. But I love a good chicken and egg conundrum. I will enjoy wrestling with that one in the small hours. Yes, I will. Yeah. How high are we going? It's this way, mister. We will need to go a lot higher. Cochine is up in the mountains. We will have to climb some of the way. Climb? No, oh, I really don't know about this. My stomach is in knots. Oh, I hope I'm not having another anxiety attack. Do I look feverish to you? Calm down, Professor. You'll be fine. Are you sure it's safe up there, Nastas? Those people won't tear us limb from limb. They might. And no, it's not safe no more, sir. Not since Mr. Vanderlind arrived. That's what I've been trying to tell you. I've made a terrible mistake. They ain't much beef on you, sir. They go for Mr. Marston here first. What the devil do you mean? Cannibals? I thought it was just the Karankawa. Oh, dear Lord. I'm only playing with you, Mr. McDougal. Most of these men attended school and learned English, just like you. Yes, yes, very funny, I'm sure. There's the cliffs. We'll leave the horses here and Giddy climb up. the rest of the way. hi Remarkable. I'm afraid I don't really have much of a head for heights. More of a, a head for highs. <laughs> well, well, anyway, I'm sure Nastas will help you. I must be on my way. I've got work to do. Thanks for the help. Goodbye, gentlemen. Enjoy yourselves. Come on. I see a spot where we can climb up.
See if you can find another route, Mr. Marston. I will have a look around. I think there's a path through this cave. Good. This should save us some time. This way! Pretty bad. I don't think you should go any further. I'll be fine. But you go ahead. I don't want to slow you down. You sure you're all right? Just need to take it slow. Go on. I'll catch up or see you on the way down. Don't worry about me. Go look for Vanderlyn. Good luck. this over with.
You stink! Mr. Marston? Mr. Marston! Mr. Marston! Here you go, Mr. Marston. Put that stuff away. You banged your head. Nastas and I carried you down. Mm. Uh, well, uh, Nastas uh, heard the shots and he hurried up to rescue you and he carried you down. I improvised an escape plan. I'm more of a planner than a man of action. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Friends of mine are with Vanderland. We must try to reason with them, sir. Vanderland's gang contains several natives. We must meet with them and try to save them from disaster. My people have already endured many disasters. Before, this was all our land. And now we have brought you civilization. Well, sure, it hasn't been easy, but it hasn't been easy for anyone, Nastas. Why, I knew a man in Yale whose father once shot 18 natives in one afternoon out in Wyoming. Oh, the man was quite, quite traumatized. He took to lying with choir boys. For a wise man, you are a very stupid man, mister. Gentlemen, I'm going to leave you to figure out right from wrong. You are simple-minded, sir. Thus, I do not blame you for not understanding reason. Then again. <laughs> Hello there. Generacy. You, a scum who can become as angels if you just put down the booze. We are campaigning in Congress. We will save this nation from itself. In the land of liberty, men should be free to live soberly without fear that the perils of drink may overcome them. Do you like what you hear, sir? 
Not particularly. You'll take away our last freedoms, friend. Freedom to forget about our troubles. You don't have troubles, friend. You have all the joys of heaven here on Earth if you just put down the bottle. <laughs> you don't know me so well, friend. If you did, you'd know how moronic that sounds. I, Abner Forsythe, am not afraid to be called moronic, sir. That I don't doubt. Good day, sir. Oh, it shall be, sir. When we live temperately alongside one another, you are doomed! Doomed! Hey, mister. I heard about you. Sure you did. <laughs> you that boy killed Bill Williamson over in Mexico. No. You got me mistaken, partner. I ain't. Boy told me all about you as soon as you come to town. Town? That's what you call this? What's wrong with cesspit? <laughs> You know, I saw you talking to that Abner Forsyth. Who? The temperance movement man. The man trying to put me in a poorhouse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Interesting fella. He's Jeremiah Somerset's pawn. The industrialist wants the, the state to outlaw public consumption of liquor. So he can make a fortune selling personal gin stills. You bar owners like me begging in the street. Ah, oh, my heart bleeds for the three of you. I just can't figure out which one I dislike the most. You kill Abner Forsyth. I'd do right by you. You'd find yourself someone else. Oh. Kill him. Keep you safe. Come on! A sin! A sin! A sin, I tell you! Hey there, Abner. Good to see you, my friend. Decided to join me and recant the evils of the bottle? Keep wishing, friend. You better move on soon. Fellas around here want you dead. Oh. I guess the path of God will lead me elsewhere in this benighted kingdom. Thank you for sparing the life of a poor servant. Kindly, take this. Take care of yourself, Abner. Yeah. Hey, mister, I want to talk to you. What is it? I heard you tipped off Abner Forsyth after I told you to kill him. Now he'll be spreading his nonsense all over the territory. I ain't here to do your dirty work. Oh, yeah? Well, you can forget about drowning your sorrows anywhere around here. Around here, it's gonna be double the going right for you. So be it. Mm. <laughs> Right. 